proceed with our drive to the Julius Nahiri Airport. For check in. Today we, we don't have like schedule sightseeing. It's uh, time after sunset if you want to like go out. See if we can get the photo now. The, uh, the government of Tanganyika, the government of Tanzania announced or changed the capital city from Dar es Salaam to Dodoma in 1984. But because of the logistics and the availability of, of uh, fun, it took so long until they decided to move to Dodoma. 2015, when the current government came into power, the president John Pombe Magufuli said, No matter what, the small that we have, we're going to start our life in Dodoma. They moved into Dodoma with almost nothing, only the House of Parliament and the rest of the ministers were supposed to rent available. Then in 2018 they started building a state house by using the military force, Trans Tanzania military force, not foreigners, because you cannot ask somebody to build your house, he will know everything, he or she will know everything, and they use the, the military to build it. They are almost in the final stages. They have built the minister of houses, everything that is needed for the government. The city is being developed to the maximum with all the infrastructures that are needed. And now they are to start building the ambassador's residence in Panama. Well, for those countries who are willing to build their own residence or the, the ambassador's place, the government is giving them a land where they can build. Dar es Salaam currently is with the population of 6.5 to 7 million people. So the number is too big. 6.5 to 7 million. So the number is too big and the infrastructures are not ready to accommodate that number of people. That's why you see that it can just start one time and then moves again and Luckily, no, nobody is honking, nobody is complaining because we know it's a traffic. Hey, we look like, look like we're on the right side of traffic. We're on the left side, but you know. Uh, we don't know how long it takes. Uh oh. Um, this is a smoke about there. So, the second biggest city in Tanzania is Mwanza, which is laying along the Lake Victoria. The Dar es Salaam is more for business more for business, big companies, factories are here. That's how people make life. In Mwanza, the people are more in mining, the diamond mining, gold mining, and fishing. So if you go to Mwanza by air, you can see from top, big, big gold mining, big uh, diamond mining, and uh, they have currently started a huge factory for processing tilapia that we export tilapia to other countries not that raw tilapia, processed tilapia added value tilapia and then the second, the third biggest is Garifis, is Arusha where we was Arusha is with 3.4 to 3.7 million people so that's the population of Arusha and we depend on Tanzanite mining, uh, agriculture, and tourism. All the safaris in Tanzania to southern national parks, 
east of, of east of eastern Tanzania national parks like Manyara, Gorongoro, Serengeti, Arusha National Park, Komazi National Park, Southern for like Julius Nyerere National Park, Mikumi National Park, Tuwaha National Park, Chitulo and all other national parks are organized from Arusha. So it's like half of the reason. Big companies are in Arusha. Although we have branches like here in Dar es big companies, they have um, offices, branch offices here and Zanzibar. Zanzibar is like going to stay in small in terms of tourism because they are getting direct flight from Italy. They have started receiving direct direct flight from Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. So they are bringing they are bringing like up to 400 people. And uh, the uh, Italians, when it comes, we call it the season of Italians, they would like flood the whole Zanzibar. They are like, every week, big Boeing is coming in, it's, it's bringing people and live with people. <laughs> so that time, uh, May, June, if you're in Zanzibar, you better speak Italian. <laughs> Because it's busy. Maybe on vacation? Still I think it's a vacation. They are not in business actually. They just come for a holiday one week and then they fly. Because if you only spend time in Zanzibar, um, you're not going to national park, you're not going to those areas that demand big high payments. You can spend a week very cheaply in Zanzibar. Then Biggest is Mbea. Mbea is uh, toward the border of Zambia. In Tanzania, we have a railway called Kazama. Tanzania, Zambia. And toward Zambia is where Mbea is. That is the exit for Dodge, Tanzania, if people are coming from Southern Africa, Zimbabwe, they will use that area to, to reach. Um, other parts of Tanzania and the population of Bea is almost 2.6 to 2.8 million people. They depend on uh, landlocked or, or like dry harbor where all the goods that come from South Africa and other parts get to Bea and from Bea to the other parts of, of the country but also they do big time uh, farming for corn. The weather is very good, so they grow a lot of corn and we eat ugali and ugali comes from maize meal. So they have a chance to grow and sell it to the rest of the country. One time when the drought happened in Kenya, there was the like food basket of East Africa. They grow a lot of. They currently started growing avocado. We have grafted avocado, which produce good amount of uh, avocado fruits. You can get up to like 25, 50 kilos per tree. So if you have how many harvests? One big and one small. So December to January is the big harvest. In June, July, small harvest. Um, yeah. yeah, do you see the yard over there? Yeah, with all them containers. Yeah. yeah. GTG. <laughs> so, uh, Tanzania, we, we have those big cities, and it's like we depend to each other for a few things or some reasons. Um, Dar es Salaam has been famous for its number of people and the business. The harbor is here in Dar es Salaam and that brings a lot of business to the people of Dar es Salaam. Uh, and then from Dar es Salaam it will flow to other parts of the country. If you get to city center of Dar es Salaam, there is no day, there is no light. I mean there is no day, there is no night. People are moving. One, my first time to be out during the night in Dar es Salaam was in 2013. And 
moment I was to take the clients to the airport. And we leave the hotel at 1 o'clock, the flight is at 3. So because it's during the night, smooth drive, smooth drive to, to the airport. And we passed one, some parts of the city and people were all busy making chips. I was asking the driver, where is the chips going this midnight? He said, no, no, they never shut down. Why? Because the people working in the factories, some are going to shift, some are coming back, they need to eat. That's why it doesn't shut down the city.